Let's look at problem number five. It says, how many grams of nitric acid is needed to react completely with 2.25 moles of magnesium in the following reaction? So once again, we've been given the balanced reaction. We look at what we started with. We're starting with two moles of magnesium. So I'm gonna go over to my balanced equation. I'm gonna put a box around where I'm starting. I'm gonna put 2.25 moles. And then what I'm trying to solve for is grams of nitric acid. So I'm gonna go over into my nitric acid. I'm gonna put a box around there. And I'm trying to solve for grams. So I know when I set up my problem, I should end with my unit being grams of HNO3. So if we set this up, we have 2.25 moles of magnesium. We're going to put what we start with over one and then we are going to copy our unit below. So if I have moles of magnesium, I'm going to have moles of magnesium up here. Now I can connect moles of magnesium to moles of nitric acid. And if we look at our mole ratio for every two moles of nitric acid, there is one mole of magnesium. Okay. We're still not done. We're trying to get to grams of nitric acid. So we set up our last piece. We have moles of nitric acid here. So moles of nitric acid have to go down here and that can be connected to grams of nitric acid. So remember the conversion from moles to grams is one mole equals the atomic mass of whatever we're dealing with. So we have to take the mass of one hydrogen, one nitrogen, and three oxygens, add them together, and we would get 63.01. We check, we cross out all like units, and we're left with grams of nitric acid or HNO3, we multiply across and divide, we will find that we have 284 grams of HNO3.